There are so many best parts of residency. Um, I would say that a highlight of residency are the people that you work with. Um, you get to work with and be surrounded by really just the best and brightest compassionate people um, that have volunteered themselves for this, this form of service. We take care of soldiers on a daily basis and it's often the, the worst day of their lives. So our training and our skill set and how we go about our daily activity is to train for that moment for that soldier on their worst day and how to keep them alive and prevent them from having a, a lifetime of health problems. Um, that, that's our job at the point of injury or at the point of initial hospital care. We're there and that, that's why we train. I'm Captain Jared Cohen. Army medicine starts here. So when I was enlisted, I was in a combat support hospital. I had a lot of different people around me that were giving me suggestions on how to continue my career in the Army um, and go above and beyond the scope of a 68 Whiskey. On one of my first missions, I was told by an Army nurse, you may not know it yet, but you're going to be a nurse someday. So that was something that really kind of stuck with me. Um, so later on down the line, when it became time to either choose you know, become an NCO or go back to school, I chose to go back to school to become a nurse. So recently I actually attended the Combat Casualty Care course at Camp Bullis, and that was an unbelievable experience just because the difference between the training that I got when I was a whiskey and how it's advanced since then um, has been, it was, it was unbelievable to see. It just blew my mind because they have mannequins now that are so realistic that it challenged a lot of people emotionally because it, they look real, they sound real, they feel real. So that, that to me was huge because it puts you in a place where you're thinking like this could be my friend or this could be you know somebody that's on my team that I need to take care of. So that, I, that was just huge for me. That translates into my work at BAMC because it gives you experience seeing trauma or seeing injuries that I will likely see down the road, especially with uh, BMC being a level one trauma center, there's a lot of things that it prepares you for that you wouldn't have been prepared for had you not seen it or had that training in the past. I'm Lieutenant Brittany Lynn. Army Medicine starts here. Currently I serve with 2nd Brigade 82nd Airborne Division at Fort Bragg as the Brigade Behavioral Health Officer. Having that airborne signifier is important for my unit and it's a requirement that we are able to exit out of an aircraft and conduct fall-on operations. I think I've been very fortunate in the training that's been offered to me. Receiving a lot of my clinical supervision time and training through the social work internship program at Fort Benning and learning through my, my directors of training and the staff in the, in the hospital, I feel has prepared me for the operational environment. In terms of deployments, um, I've been fortunate enough to work alongside some great AMED Army officers and senior enlisted folk. And I got a real sense as to what the operational needs are from a behavioral health standpoint to support my unit. And it also added a lot of knowledge in terms of providing the readiness platform from a psychological standpoint for our paratroopers. I'm Captain Benjamin Paul. Army Medicine starts here. So we actually have all kinds of different customers. Um, I know immediately folks think that, oh, veterinarian, all you guys do is treat animals. Um, yes, our vet corps mission is super broad and people are generally surprised when I tell them, oh, by the way, it's not just animal medicine. We actually have a huge food inspection and research and development mission as well. In terms of our food inspection mission, keeping our soldiers healthy and ready um, is super important. We're sending troops all over the place that may not have access to our clean water, to our safe food, uh, so we'll have to go in and perform risk assessments on a lot of these sites, which arguably is one of my favorite missions. We call it a food and water risk assessment. Um, I think those are great. Uh, I've been, again, all over the Pacific performing these FWRAs. Uh, again, just, just trying to mitigate some of these risks that come with eating some unsafe, potentially unsafe food, so we can ensure that they're medically ready to complete their mission as well. Uh, in terms of our animal medicine mission, of course there's a huge public health aspect in terms of people's personal pets, but not to mention the military working dogs. Uh, those dogs are sent down range and they're saving lives every single day. So. That's a huge mission of ours to ensure that they are ready, medical readiness for these guys. And then lastly, in research and development, I mean, that's making a huge impact 
first of all, for our service member to ensure that we're providing the best medicine available for them. But as you know, any type of research that we're doing in the military, of course, is going to bleed over into the civilian counterpart as well and ultimately affect the, uh, affect the entire population. I am Captain Anna Maria Travis. Army medicine starts here. Every time, every morning that I get this uniform on to go to my work, I am absolutely reminded that, hey, I am doing this for the greater good. I've seen so many soldiers who sometimes come in pain or sometimes they're just so upset because of the way their teeth look and the fact that at the end of the day I can actually make them feel better and, I, and the fact that I can direct or contribute to the Army and, uh, and helping out with the dental readiness of the overall Army, it does actually make me feel more proud of, of my work. I'm Captain Ryan Kong. Army medicine starts here.